Okay, so the way you check on that is uh, the Department of Energy for a very long time, um, probably close to 40 years now, has been studying different sites throughout the country and also throughout the world as far as things called irradiation, and that's how much sunlight per day and the intensity of that sunlight is occurring. Uh, the sun path, the path the sun takes over the course of a year, it changes day by day, believe it or not, depending on where we are in our orbit. Um, and uh, also, uh, it also matters as far as temperature goes. So the actual intensity of sunlight and the availability of creating energy from that has been studied for a very long time by our government, the Department of Energy. Um, and you... Luckily enough, have complete access, free of charge, no signing up, no registration. Um, you don't even have to put in your address. You can, and it's, it's recommended that you do, but if you're worried about that information being sold, you can simply put in your city uh, and or your zip code, <clears throat> and um, it won't ever be uh, sold or anything else. So like I said, no registration. And this site is pvwatts dot n r e l dot gov and that's pvwatts dot n r e l dot gov. It's very easy, very user friendly. It's not as polished. You won't see this very often in sales presentations because it's not polished as for marketing. It's not marketing. It's data, right? But it's very easy to use. So the very first thing you do is if you go on this link, if you click on this link, the very first thing that will come up is you can put your address in and then you simply um, uh, press the go button and that'll take you to system info. And what you want to do is you want to put the system info in there. Now you're going to have to do one of these where you, the presentation you're given is a total for everything they're trying to sell you, which may be on multiple roofs, on multiple orientations. By orientations, I mean east, south, west, um, and if you insist, north. But you have to insist on north. If somebody's trying to sell you north without telling you the, the devaluation of north, and this will help you know what that is, this, this program. Um, then you should move on <laughs> to somebody else. And you can put, you will get production out of North Roofs. It's just going to be limited, greatly limited compared to the other roofs. So um, what you'd want to do is once you go to the system info page, and I've, I've brought it up on this laptop here, is uh, quantify um, on each face of the roof that has a different direction. Okay, that's facing a different direction. Quantify how much of that system is on, say, your east roof. If, it's, if you add up all the panels and you multiply times the size of the panel, you'll get the kilowatts. And this is very self-explanatory, this page. And if you have any questions, there's a little on each line for entered info, there's an icon with an I in it for information. And you can click on that and it'll describe exactly what it's meaning. Okay, and you can decipher that. And so you put in the kilowatts for that orientation. Um, and in order to find your orientation, here, let me back up just a little bit. You're going to want to open up your address in uh, Google Earth. Okay, simple program. Uh, you don't have to have Google Watt or Google Earth Pro. You can just have the standard program. And that way you can make sure that the orientation is correct. Um, on what they're trying to sell you and what they've deciphered their numbers are and also in what you're trying to figure out. So you'll look at each of those directions that the uh, roof is, the array is facing and you'll do one of these reports for each of those, okay, separate reports and then you'll add them all together. So you'll do the system size and then you go to module type below the system size and module type always put in standard. Um, there's a drop-down menu that lets you put in premium and thin film and yada yada this and yada yada that. 
However, even with the premium stuff and the super expensive modules and everything, those end up being very light absorbing, which means that they get hotter than normal solar modules. And there's a thing called a temperature coefficient. So what they're rated on is in a temperature controlled room on a flash table. In real life, they're out in the sun all day long. So if it gets hotter than a normal solar module, it's actually gonna produce a little bit less power in ratio to a normal solar module, okay? So don't fall victim, because that's what's really happening with these super high efficiency solar modules is they're only super high efficiency in this temperature controlled room on a flash table. They're not super high efficiency up on your roof in the sun all day. They're not, and uh, we've done some testing. I don't know if we have a video on that one particularly yet, but we might, and if there are, there'll be links below. Um, we have lots of videos, folks. <laughs> uh, and then, um, so just leave that standard. That's my suggestion. Don't try and hedge your bets by making it better than what, or believing what you're being sold um, on your thing. Um, so on a ray type, unless you're uh, on a ground mount, uh, then on a ray type, you're going to want to use that drop down menu and go to fixed roof mount because that's the vast majority of what's being installed out there, unless it's not, unless it's one of the other choices on this drop down menu. But uh, fixed open rack is a ground mount system that doesn't move, okay? And the other ones are tracking and um, have different types of methods of tracking the sun. But Fixed roof mount is the most cost effective and easiest installation for residences. Um, so you wanna choose that. Um, system losses. Now, system losses, uh, you can leave that at 14.08. If you have any kind of shading issues or any other uh, things that you think might cause problems with your system, you're going to want to click on that icon and see what is going on with that. So there are some inherent system losses. And one of them is it takes 3% off for uh, shading. And what that means is that your solar production is based on uh, uh, dawn to dusk, right? Every hour until the sun falls uh, below the horizon to the west, that the sun has been up from the horizon on the east. So that's from when it very first rises up here. And that means that from the very first time it rises, even if your neighbor three doors down has a tree, you might be getting some shade from that on your roof. Okay, so that's why they leave that on there as well as to the west. So your neighbor to the west might have a tree next door or three doors down. And so they're trying to account for that in the basic default setup of this system info. Now, if you are clear as a bell and you know that if you get up in the morning before the roosters start to crow, with your cup of coffee and go and stand outside and the second that you stand and stare at the east horizon you need sunglasses the moment that sun pops over the horizon then you don't have a problem with that and you can remove that three percent but otherwise leave it at the default of 14.08 okay <laughs> uh, and then you'll get down to the tilt of your roof so the tilt of your roof is set at a default 20 degrees and that's not necessarily the case in Florida. Most of our construction is uh, more along the lines of 22 to 25 degrees, depending on your roof pitch. <clears throat> and uh, that'll, there's a calculator for that as well. So you can uh, click on that information icon again on that line. And you can look at the calculator the, uh, the, um, that gives you the angle equal to uh, roof pitch. So if you know your roof pitch, and the vast majority of roofs in Florida are between 412 to 612, 412, 512, 612, vast majority. Some are less and some are more, but the vast majority are in that range. And, and that range runs from 18.4 degrees to 26.6 degrees. So, and then the median right there is 5, 512. So the vast majority falls in that 22.6. But if you 
if you don't know or you do know or you have a program on your uh, phone that lets you line up things or uh, put them on angles and then gives you the angle that it's at if you have that and you line up the bottom exactly with you know so your the plane of your roof disappears and comes into view and you know exactly what that is then you can find that angle and you can put it in there now uh, the azimuth okay that is what i'm talking about the direction of the roof that the array is on that's why you have to run multiples of this particular report and this is the only one this is where all the data really comes from there's none of these individual companies with these uh, um, sales pitch programs that has uh, testing facilities right they don't have testing facilities they're gathering testing data from other facilities which all are part of the National Renew Renewable Energy Laboratories. Sandia National Laboratories, Oak Ridge National Laboratories, the Florida Solar Energy C uh, Center. Um, and this azimuth is for the particular roof that you're saying this array is on, okay? Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna make sure, that's why I had you open up Google Earth first, right? So now you know exactly which direction that roof is facing. Is it due east? If it's due east, you go over here to this information icon and you can see, you click on that, due east is 90 degrees. You'd put 90 degrees in there. If it was um, uh, uh, southeast, 135 degrees. South, 100 and 180 degrees. Southwest, 225 degrees. West, 270 degrees. And this is all based on the azimuth of the sun not on direction because most people think you know oh i'm going 90 degrees is up well it's not <laughs> in the solar industry right um, because we're talking about the path of the sun right and and the way the sun is oriented not uh magnets uh and again if you have multiple arrays on different orientations you want to do one of these reports for each one of those soon as you put in all the data for that particular array you go over to the side far left and click on go to results okay and then you'll see the results okay and these results are based on the information that you have put in so um, you're going to have information uh, both uh, monthly and also annually and always remember that these numbers are based on a 20-year average for your closest uh, test site. And most of the test sites, let's put it this way, all of the international airports and a lot of the local airports have um, solar testing sites. And they're not big, they're just little, okay? But they take into consideration all of these things, right? And then they're adjusted occasionally as far as tilt and things like that so they can um, gather more data. Um, but they will have very accurate 20-year data for your location. And this doesn't just go for Florida, this goes for the whole nation. Remember to do one of these for each and every orientation that you are being pitched to sell for your house and then double check, add up all the kilowatt hours and then there's also a monetary value based over here. Um, add all that up and see if it adds up to what they're trying to sell you, okay? Um, and what we're trying to sell you, right? Uh, so any other information or anything else you need, there's likely a video at SolarAy <laughs> to help you with that. And also we're a wealth of information and, and we're always here to help, um, not just ourselves, but also our community. All right, uh, Michael Brown, SolarAy.